Oh, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about alarms. Um, and there's, and the, the reason I'm doing it like this is there's so many different uh, situations. And so, uh, really, you know, I mean, you could be like in our particular area, we're out in the woods. Uh, we've got, um, uh, let's see, foothill type mountains on one side. Uh, we've got a uh, highway coming through. We've got uh, creeks and rivers that separate us from, from everybody. So uh, we would use different types of alarms for that than you would is if you live out in the country and uh, how you know how do you alarm your your country house or if you're living in the city and you're in an apartment you know you you look at uh, alarms differently uh, uh, if you've got a, a car or a truck and stuff like that you would look at your uh, uh, some type of a uh, warning or signaling device you 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 look at it differently so there's different kinds of things but uh, that you can use for different occasions and this is what I want to talk about uh, I already made a video talking about car alarms uh, car alarms is very useful uh, you can uh, put them in a portable something, you know, like a, a, a bucket, a toolbox, a backpack. Uh, you can put them in a lot of stuff and move them in different places and use them for different ways. And like I said, I made the video talking about that on car alarms. Uh, that's really real cheap. Uh, uh, you can use, um, in Vietnam, we use uh, wire or string and we had cans um, and so you would uh, put the cans on there you know have them the cans right close to each other so then when you hit the line it'll rattle the cans uh, the the bad thing about that is the wind would get it uh, now we didn't have any problem on the animals but in the United States, I could see how you know animals would influence your your line, and I would have that line about a foot off the ground. Uh, that's because uh, you're using it as a trip line, is what it is. So when they trip over it, it makes the noise, and that'll slow them down. And um, uh, a lot of times, you would uh, put that trip line with especially with the cans on there because it's obvious you're going to see these cans you're going to see oh look at the cans and look at the look at the the, uh, the line that it's on so then what you're going to do is avoid it and that's what you're doing is you're moving them to another area where you have different alarms and uh, so uh, or booby traps it just depends on what it is that you're you're doing uh, and uh, so you got that. Uh, one of the things that I really used a lot of was motion detectors. I love motion detectors. Uh, there's a lot of drawbacks on motion detectors. Either they need electricity uh, or you know they're battery operated. You need batteries. So there's these are things that really makes it a drawback. But the good thing is you can uh, put a motion detector on with uh, some type of a camera and uh, you can see what's you know what's uh, what kicked off the motion detector and I say if I was living in an apartment that would probably be one of the first things that I'd put up is some kind of a, a motion detector and uh, I say a camera showing me what's going on and uh, I've talked about uh, houses and putting motion detectors around the house and stuff like that. I've talked about that in other videos. Uh, but um, that's to let me know how many and what they're, why are they come visiting. So, uh, and so you don't necessarily have to have the camera. 
especially if you've got uh, enough. If the situation is set up properly, just the motion detector itself is enough. Uh, I say if it just buzzes and then it stops, it's a cow or uh, a cat or a dog or something going by. And if it just continues to keep going, well, there's something going on. And so uh, there's there's uh, there's uses for the the uh, motion detector. One of the things I never had, I looked at it in one place, and I suggested it for the I, I saw it being used one place, and I've suggested it on people that have a lot of money, and that is they've got these sensors that you put into the ground, and when somebody's walking it will let you know that there's there's something going on there and then like I say that was a place with a lot of woods and was a big area and I, uh, I believe they used the same thing out on uh, area 54 or something like that you know with uh, uh, the government uses uh, their spy stuff and all that out there that's I think that's what they use out there too uh, so you can get this stuff, and it's good. Uh, the thing is, um, when it's sensing something walking by, you really need to have either cameras or uh, have the, um, the capability to run a patrol or somebody out there to take a look at it. And um, so, it, it's, you know, it's just one of those things. I'm not quite sure. You have to think on it. Uh, let's see. Uh, other... If you have uh, drones, you can use the drones to send them out and take a look at uh, whatever it is that kicks on, whatever kind of alarm system you have. That would be what I would consider the first that I would want to do is go send out a drone to, to look at it. Uh, even, uh, and that's why the, uh, a drone operator uh, with your um, uh, sniper team or counter sniper team uh, would be a useful person to, to have with you, uh, and, uh, and like I say, when you if you're if you have, if you're answering to an alarm, uh, like I say, I really want to know what it is I'm facing. I don't like, especially in a three-man militia type situation, I don't want to put people in jeopardy uh, at all. And like I say, a lot of times uh, they will send uh, either people or animals in to check the security uh, of your whatever it is that you have because uh, they're going to same thing we're talking about the apartment somebody's going to say well, boy I wonder how they knew I'm already here you know that's why you don't answer the door before they ring the doorbell uh, you don't want to let them know that you have a way to uh, check them out so uh, uh, but like I say there's uh, things like that um, Our particular area, it's, uh, I'm thinking right now, like I say, we've got uh, 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 creeks and rivers and uh, foothills surrounding us. I'm thinking right now, uh, and that's what I'm going to be working on now when I get back. I'm going to start spending more time on my, my area itself. But um, uh, I'm thinking we would make uh, kind of like what, what we have here like a path like this completely surrounding our area and uh, what we're going to do uh, we'd, we'd put signs up with an arrow and the arrow is all going to be pointing to where I want people to go uh, like I say we have a highway coming in so everything is set up on that highway we can uh, screen people and we've got good security over that so uh, everything is going to be bringing people to that area and um, so we'd have the arrow sign and it would be a warning you know the arrows going this way uh, anything other than that you would be considered a threat so in other words uh, this is our borderline and as long as they stay on the path going to where they're supposed to it'll be okay and we might even have some water set up and and you know uh, maybe a, a, you know 
I don't know, <laughs> but we want we want people to go that way. And anybody that would cross over, then that means they're a threat. They're trying to infiltrate us, so they'd be considered a threat. And um, uh, you'd have to have signs up some way or another explaining uh, how this is going to work. And um, uh, you got to remember, a lot of times they will be testing you. Yes, they know the sign, they know this, but here, uh, we'll send the dog over here, or we'll send, um, you know, one of the young young kids over there, let them cross over, and you know, because they'll be like, looked at less than a threat. Um, so they're going to figure out some way or another to test to see, is it just a sign of bullshit, or is there really something going on? And um, really, you need to have sentries set up you really can't do any better than uh, than the eyes when it comes to a warning system. Uh, the problem is trying to keep those eyes open all the time and through uh, darkness, uh, you know, through the night and this type of stuff, the boredom, uh, trying and trying to keep people focused on watching instead of playing cards, <laughs> getting on their cell phone, uh, all these kind of things. Uh, that's going to be the hard part. That's why uh, some type of alarm system working with the humans is probably about the best way you're going to do it. Um, uh, I'm, uh, like I say I mentioned before uh, I lost uh, Zena, my dog, my travel companion, and uh, I haven't found a woman, so uh, I'm thinking, and I'm, uh, I'm thinking maybe I need to re get get another dog. And um, uh, it's the same thing. You can train a dog to run this uh, path that, that you have. And um, uh, so that might be a pretty good option also. This is going to take, uh, uh, I say, some knowledge and practice to get it going. But it, I think that would make a good, uh, a good alarm system. Not so much as an attack dog running up and down this thing but I've uh, uh, been able to get a dog to send it from one checkpoint to another checkpoint and uh, you know that uh, I, I don't know there, there's there's some some thought we'll have to do more in that and and uh, see how it's going to happen but uh, you really need your perimeters uh, watched over you might not be able to put a fence up to, to protect yourself and you might not have all the rivers and creeks like we've got but you need to find some way or another to be able to monitor all this stuff because that's going to be uh, the weak point that's going to be the spot that's going to get you so you, you have to be able to con uh, watch uh, what goes on out further than you can see this is one reason why I mentioned in our particular area, we're out in the country, that I was going to let squatters set up outside the perimeter because they're going to be a, an early warning uh, for us also. So, uh, and that's and it wouldn't hurt uh, even if in in the, uh, a more of a city environment, uh, you just have to work out some kind of a plan on that. But anyway, it's something to think on. This Mike, no stress Mike dot com